kaštvi jogi pravi is uh, Mr. Mohammed Sayyad Raja, and uh, please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chair. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of European Parliament and uh, distinguished uh, panelists. Today, uh, we are discussing uh, uh, weaponizing Kashmir. How Kashmir was weaponized and what was uh, uh, what is the aim behind it? What are the objectives? And how Pakistan has used, uh, abused and misused uh, uh, th this situation. Uh, I didn't want to go back into uh, history, but uh, uh, my dear friend, Mr. Gill, uh, uh, he uh, probably missed a point. Actually, Jammu and Kashmir didn't accede to uh, India and it was not uh, then invaded by Pakistan. Basically, it was Pakistan who invaded Jammu and Kashmir and then Jammu and Kashmir acceded to India. So there is difference. Uh, what, what I want to uh, uh, highlight here is it was peaceful division of uh, Indian subcontinent under the plans, uh, under the British plans, uh, under the Indi Indian Independence Act of 1947. Pakistan was created uh, on 14th of August and India was created uh, uh, on 15th of August. And as uh, per the provisions of uh, uh, Indian Independence Act, Jammu and Kashmir, which was one of the 584 uh, princely states, uh, King of Jammu and Kashmir, Maharaja Hari Singh, decided to remain independent as it was uh, uh, authorized by the Indian Independence Act. And Indian government honored that wish. Uh, Maharaja was uh, constitutionally authorized to take any decision and uh, Indian government, uh, uh, Indian government agreed to uh, uh, the, the proposal which Maharaja put forward. But Pakistan, having signed that, Pakistan even even uh, 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 coming into being before that, on 13th of August, Pakistan signed, Pakistan sent a telegram, and uh, a standstill agreement was agreed between government of Jammu and Kashmir and Pakistan, Pakistani establishment. And that was uh, 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 subsequently that was signed. But after that, on 22nd of October 1947, Pakistan sent in uh, armed uh, militiamen from tribal areas under the direct command of Pakistan army. They invaded uh, 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 Jammu and Kashmir, they looted, and the slogan, which was uh, our elders uh, who witnessed the, uh, everything, they tell us that those tribal elders, those tribal uh, Lashkaris, those who, who invaded uh, under, under Pakistani army, they had a slogan. They said, we will kill all non-Muslims. But uh, uh, we will loot everybody, but we will only kill non-Muslims. That was their slogan. And Pakistan army had given them, uh, uh, there was agreement between Pakistan army and uh, uh, those tribals that immovable property would be uh, uh, Pakistan's and whatever is movable, including women, they, they uh, belong to the tribals and they can take them to wherever they want, uh, want to take. And uh, uh, whatever happened, it is. Uh, uh, I honestly speaking, I can't. Uh, I can't go into the uh, into the depth of th that topic because it is so uh, disturbing, and we get so upset uh, because of uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, whatever happened to uh, uh, people of Jammu and Kashmir in 1947? So that was basically how it started the weaponizing, and then. 
after 1947 in 1965 pakistan again uh, 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 sent in uh, uh, under operation gibraltar pakistan sent in uh, uh, pakistan army into jammu and kashmir and then in 1971 pakistan couldn't do anything in 1989 pakistan uh, to take revenge of uh, uh, of uh, creation of bangladesh pakistan started this uh, 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 mil militant movement in jammu and kashmir and uh, uh, the f the fact is i have seen with my own eyes and i have witnessed those camps terrorists who are known as jihadis from all over the world all from almost uh, uh, all central asia and arab countries they were trained there in in our areas and they were sent into uh, into jammu and kashmir and prisoners uh, who had been uh, sentenced to uh, uh, capital uh, punishment in in pakistan they were released and under under jihadi organizations they were sent into uh, jammu and kashmir uh, and uh, purpose of all this was to keep india bleeding pakistan knows that pakistan can't uh, uh, pakistan can't win uh, uh, war with indian army but the objective of this whole exercise is to keep india bleeding and to divide uh, J jammu and kashmir uh, the, the the last thing uh, basic objective is pakistan is a garrison state as all of us know pakistani army when pakistan came into being there were four uh, 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 there were four disputes or conflicts junagadh Munawadar, Hyderabad, and Jammu and Kashmir. Not even a single inch of ter any territory uh, has been uh, liberated or won or taken by Pakistan Army. So Pakistan Army doesn't have any uh, any 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 logic, or they don't have any argument for their own people that why pe people of Pakistan need Pakistan Army. So they want to create these uh, uh, conflicts. they want to uh, create this hysteria with india so that they can convince the people of pakistan that we are needed that is the basic objective thank you thank you very much